This one is very intricate. We love it. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the double lattice stitch. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size four. This stitch, you're gonna start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of six plus five. So in my case, I have 23. For row one, you wanna skip six chains and do one treble crochet into the next stitch. So we're skipping two, four, six, and into the next one doing a treble crochet. Now you want to chain four and do one treble crochet into the same chain that you just did a treble crochet into. So we're gonna yarn over twice, go into the same chain here and do a treble crochet. And now we're gonna start a row repeat. So we're gonna treble crochet two together. For that, you want to yarn over twice, go into the next chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You're going to yarn over and pull through tw uh, two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. And you're going to stop right there. Now we're going to skip four chains. So one, two, three, four. And into the fifth one, we're gonna do our other treble crochet for the treble crochet two together. So you're gonna yarn over twice, go into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two. And now you have three loops on your hook. So now you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that is your treble crochet two together and you skipped four chains in between. So now we're going to continue the row repeat by chaining four, doing one treble crochet into the same chain as the second leg of the treble crochet two together. So it's this one here. So you yarn over twice and into that same chain you do one treble crochet. And that ends the row repeat. You can go back to the beginning of it. And for that is the treble crochet two together, starting at the next chain from where you're at. And we do that there. We don't close off that treble crochet because it's two together. We're gonna skip four. And into the next one, do our next leg of the treble crochet two together, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And to finish off this, um, the, this row repetition again, we're gonna chain four and do one treble crochet into the same stitch that you just wear in, doing that second leg of the treble crochet two together. And that is the row repetition. You do that until the end of the row and I will see you when we're there. Okay. At the end of the row, you're gonna be left with four chains. So you're gonna do two treble crochet together. You're gonna insert your hook into the next chain for the first leg. Now you're going to skip two chains in between because it's the only two you have left and into the, le the last chain you're going to do your second leg of the treble crochet two together. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And this here is the end of row one. For row two, you wanna start with a chain six. This chain six counts as a treble crochet and a chain two. And you're gonna flip your work you're gonna do one treble crochet into the first stitch. So into the very first stitch here, we're going to do a treble crochet. Now you're gonna start your row repeat. You're going to do a treble crochet two together, inserting your hook into the next treble crochet for the first leg, and then into the next cluster for the second leg. So these three here, we're gonna be calling a cluster when you have the two together and then the one. 
That's a cluster of treble crochets. So let's start the row repetition. We're gonna do two treble crochets together, going first into the next treble crochet, which is this one here. And then the last leg, I'm gonna go into the cluster. So essentially where the two meet here, that's where I'm gonna do my next treble crochet leg of the two together. Oh, let's try that again. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And so I kind of made the triangle now facing upwards to mirror the one at the bottom there. And where are we here? Now we're gonna continue the row repetition. We're gonna chain four. Do one treble crochet into the same space as you just went into. So into that same space, do a treble crochet. And now you can begin the row repeat, repeat again. So we're gonna do that by doing a treble crochet two together, starting at the next treble crochet, and then going into the top of the cluster here. So I can just show you that. Treble crochet two together. And now going into the top of the cluster here. Three loops in my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now we chain four. Do one treble crochet into the same place that you were just in. And now go back to the beginning of the repeat. At the end of the row here, you're going to go do your final treble crochet two together by going into the next treble crochet here with the first leg. And then you're gonna go into the next treble crochet with your second leg. So into the next treble crochet with our second leg here. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we are going to do a chain two to finish this row and do one treble crochet into the same space there. And that there is the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain four and flip your work. You're going to skip the chain two space and then do one treble crochet into the next cluster. So into the top of these here, you're going to do one treble crochet. Now you're going to start your row repetition. You're going to chain four and do one treble crochet into the same space that you just did a treble crochet into. Into there you do one treble crochet. Now you're going to do two treble crochets together. You're going to go into the next treble crochet for the first leg. We're gonna go into there with our first leg. And then into the next cluster for the second leg. So essentially the top of where the two meet here. Into there, you're gonna place your second leg of the two treble crochets together. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we're gonna go back to the beginning of the row repeat. So essentially with chaining four and doing one treble crochet into the same spot we were just in. and then doing the two treble crochets together, going into the next treble crochet for the first leg and into the cluster for the second leg. So we do that. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And so there you have it. This is the row repetition for row three. 
at the end of the row here, you want to make sure that you do your final. Uh, you're going to end with a chain four and doing a treble crochet into the same spot of your last leg of the treble crochet two together. So we're doing a treble crochet there. And now we're going to do our final two treble crochet together by doing the first leg into the next treble crochet here. So the final treble crochet. And then the second leg, you're actually going to do it into the third chain of the, of the turning chain. So we count three from bottom to top. So one, two, three. And to there, you're going to do your last leg of a treble crochet two together. Three loops in my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that there is the end of row three. So moving forward, you just want to repeat rows two and three back and forth until you have the desired length of your work or a finished swatch. Oh, I have a tutorial on how to do the lattice stitch, and this is a double lattice stitch because essentially you add like an extra treble crochet in between. So I think it adds more structure to it, but still quite open. So super, super cool. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it. Just do it.